In a country where tobacco cigarettes are frowned upon and nicotine addiction is a serious problem, I give you the alternative to e cigarettes. So first I'd like to start with the video. This is one of the very first commercials about e-cigarettes that has been allowed to be on TV. Well, you know what the most amazing thing about this cigarette is? What is it? Introducing the image of the The first electronic cigarette for the look, feel, and flavor of a real thing. Finally, smokers have a real alternative. You enjoy it. The cigarettes that you match. All right. So in that commercial, the guy described how the cigarette, the e-cigarette, is not actually, you know, an actual cigarette, which is true. And there are a lot of differences between e-cigarettes and the tobacco cigarettes, which we will get to in our topics of discussion. Our first one is the myths. We'll talk about what a lot of people think are true about e-cigarettes and how they're not and what is true about them. The what, the actual structure, what is an e-cigarette, how is it used, what goes on inside. We'll move on to the pros and cons, and lastly, how they are similar and different to tobacco cigarettes. All right, so moving on to our first point, we'll take the e-cigarette out of its case. And as you can see, it's fairly small. It's like the size of a mechanical pencil. And our first myth is that they are the same as tobacco cigarettes. They are not. As you can see here, it is completely different um, in size and look. We'll get into more detail later on. Our second myth that is commonly um, believed is that they explode in your face. And according to ABC News, a 57-year-old man, Tom Holloway in Florida, he was smoking his e-cigarette when it exploded in his face. And according to the chief of police, it basically was like a bottle rocket going off in his mouth. It took out all of his teeth and part of his tongue. However, recent studies have shown that e-cigarettes typically only explode when they, the e-liquid inside is tampered with or a cartridge and batteries. Another myth commonly believed is that they are dangerous and e-cigarettes have unknown ingredients inside them. That is also untrue. If you do your research, you'll figure out exactly what ingredients are used inside them. And we'll talk about that also. And our last myth is that tobacco cigarettes are cheaper. However, they are a lot more expensive by some thousands of dollars. And we'll get into more detail in another slide. All right, so let's take a puff of our e-cigarette and move on to our first point, which is the what? The structure of the e-cigarette. Here you can see there are three different types of e-cigarettes. The first one is the mini e-cig, and then you have your mid-sized, and then our modified. The one I'm holding is more closely related to the mini e-cig, however, in length it is more mid-sized. Inside um, the mini e-cig shown here and also the mid-sized e-cigarette, um, they show the structure. Inside each e-cig is a heating coil. Um, this is what heats up the liquid and then it turns it into a vapor which you inhale. When you exhale, all that comes out is water vapor. They also have each have a rechargeable lithium battery, and they also have the cartridge that holds the e-liquid, which is shown here in the top right corner. All right, so let's replace our e-liquid with another flavor and move on to the pros and cons of e-cigs. One pro includes that there's no tar, tobacco, toxins, or harmful chemicals um, besides nicotine, which is an addi addictive chemical. Uh, you can also choose your amount of nicotine you want in your e-cig. This one is about 12 milligrams of nicotine. Uh, there, it's really rare to find a zero gram one because typically people want their nicotine. Um, they're trying to get off the cigarettes um, using these, or that's what most people buy the e-cigarettes for. And that uh, there's also multiple flavors, including watermelon, cherry, mint coffee, and even tobacco flavoring, I guess, if you like that flavor. Moving on to the cons, there are a lot of things that e-cigarettes lack in, like proper labeling on how to instructions, how to dispose of them. On this one, all it says is open, remove cap, inhale, and the tip glows, meaning the bottom tip glows where the LED light is. It doesn't really say whether I should throw it away, like um, batteries, you should throw those away in a different area than um, your typical trash or even recycling. 
and then also e-cigarette cartridges have been known to leak. This is very harmful because nicotine in its liquid form, um, if even just one tablespoon is absorbed or ingested by an adult human, it's lethal, it'll kill you. And let's recharge our battery with the comparison on how they are similar and different to real tobacco cigarettes. On the electronic side, a kit typically costs 30 to $100, and then a five cartridge pack is 10 to $12. There are only nine known contaminants um, on average in each cigarette. There's no tar, ash, or bad breath, or even yellow teeth. Plus, there's no carbon monoxide poisoning, second or even third hand smoke. Moving on to the tobacco side, um, if you're about a pack a day smoker annually, this is going to cost you around $1,500 per year. There's over 7,000 contamin contaminants. 69 of these are known to be carcinogenic. There's tar, ash, bad breath included. You get yellow teeth. And there's second and third hand smoke, second being what you breathe out, third being what stays on your clothes afterwards. All right, also part of our, um, how they're similar and different to tobacco, is the electronic has nicotine for ingredients, flavoring of your choice, and then a few other chemicals and additives inside. On the cigarette side, on the tobacco side, there are a lot of chemicals um, that cause cancer, 69, and then a lot of the chemicals inside that are formaldehyde, which, are lung, which has been known to cause lung cancer, ammonia, which is a strong cleaning product and has a very strong suffocating odor, hydrogen cyanide, which does not let, allow the cells to use oxygen properly, and so it kills the cells, and also arsenic, which has been known to cause multiple varieties of cancer, including kidney, lung, skin, and the last one I have down is pesticides, which can cause a lot of birth defects. All right, so today we covered the myths about e-cigarettes, the what, the structure, how they're used, the pros and cons, and also how they're similar and different to tobacco cigarettes. All right, so e-cigarettes are very different from tobacco cigarettes. However, they still have nicotine in, the, nicotine in them, which is an addictive substance. Um, whether you choose to smoke or not, as long as you're 18 or over, that's your choice. But just please be responsible and careful. Thank you.